cool guys just made it to the lake and first cast literally just caught this pig good pride two and a half it's got a really good belly on it got it on the wacky rig uh, BPS sticko right there look at that gut that is a healthy fish it isn't very long but it is a very thick fish so let's see if I can get a good release on it. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. Good stuff. Let's go get some more. Well, guys, I just switched up to a drop shot. I'm throwing a six inch uh black grape or grape uh robo worm that felt like a hit um so we'll see if that changes our luck but we'll see here what happens see if we can finesse them get a couple bites because I have a feeling they're down deep in the cooler water with this high sun and mid-afternoon. But we'll see what happens here. Stay tuned. Fish on, guys. Uh-oh, don't go in there. Decent little largey. Come on out of there. Here he comes. Feisty one. Skinny too. Ooh. Move my other hand so you can see him. There he is. Black grape robo worm. Black grape robo worm. There he is right there. A little chunky. Not skinny like I thought, but his back is like he used to be skinny, so. All right, let me lay my rod down here and we'll Thanks, bud. Ooh, reel in the water. Good stuff. fish on oh that's a big one. Oh my gosh please land this fish oh yeah that's what i'm talking about right there baby drop shotting big largey coming in here stay out of the moss please come here buddy Come here. There we go. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Yes. Woo. Man, that's fun. Light tackle. Got to be careful with them. And that is fun right there. All right. All right. Wow. You guys are kind of sideways here. Let me set my fishing pole down here so I can hold them up better for you guys. Oh yes. There might be a school out there because that's where I cast it before and caught that one before. So 
Let's get back out there. Let me hold him this way. Big thick gut on him. All right, let's release him here. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Ooh, that is good stuff. Black grape robo worm. Let's go get some more. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try mixing it up a little bit because I've seen quite a few little schools of bluegill busting when I'm casting. So I'm gonna try throwing a white fluke here to see if that triggers any like bass to bite if they're chasing schools of bluegill. Um, so we're gonna see. I mean, you'll never know till you try. So next time you're out on the water, Try something you're not as comfortable fishing and see if that changes your luck. Cause like I said in my last drop shot video, I had never fished a drop shot before. I tried it out to see if that would change anything. And sure enough, caught a couple nice ones. So we'll see if this does anything different. I'll let you guys know. Just got a tiny little dinker on the drop shot. And actually, it's not on a robo worm this time. I got it on, I'll show you in just a sec. There he is, little guy. Um, this is a uh, Bass Pro Shops four inch sticko cut in half and then I left the tail like that. I thought it'd give it a little bit more action on a drop shot if I cut it in half like this. Um, and that was the first cast with it. So yeah, just rigged like that. I thought uh, that the other day I ran out of all my morning dawn colored Sanko or not Sanko's drop shots. And that's what I had my best luck on, those pink morning dawn robo worms. So I'm gonna try this pink Senko out, see if I can't get a couple more here. Um, otherwise I might try to switch spots, I don't know yet. So stay tuned. Well, here's a surprise. Look at what we got right here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No. That's not good. Son of a gun. Reel in the water again. Got a little channel cat. Chunky. You guys see that? Got some girth to him. Alright. Let's release him here. Not a bass, but... I guess that's all right. <sighs> all right, guys, that's gonna complete the day. Ended up catching five bass, I think, four, four or five. One of them I think was off camera maybe, but um, then that catfish, so. Hope you guys enjoyed. I fished for about three and a half hours and Kind of slow, kind of good. I caught three good fish to start off, so I was pretty excited there, but then it kind of slowed down, so the wind's kind of booking right now, and I don't really enjoy fishing in the wind. Um, I will do it, but it's just not as enjoyable. Um, so I'm going to end the day here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe for more. Uh, leave a comment if you got any video suggestions that you want to see. And I'll catch you guys next time. See you later.